um, in, in the practice of law and the practice of medicine, which I, I have a cousin who is, but I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV, but we call it practicing law and practicing medicine for a reason. There's really only one way you get good at it, really anybody. When I was young, I thought I was going to be just, I, met, I cared so much that I'd be great after being a deputy DA for four years. Well, guess what? I wasn't. I mean, it takes practice and 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 to to appoint someone to the bench who has been engaged in the practice of law less than three actively less than three years and has never tried a case um, and has never either uh, stood up and defended someone in front of a jury or prosecuted somebody in front of a jury you don't have to be a criminal lawyer to be a judge and you know I don't know Judge Waters she may be a very nice person uh, but as you say one can disagree with the politics of some of, some of Governor Brown's appointments. There's another candidate that I really strongly urge people to look at. His name is Mike Winhausen. Um, hopefully you can have him on your show. Mike Winhausen is a longtime deputy DA, first in Benton, now in Lynn County. Um, the, the, a lot of money is being donated to uh, Judge Dutch Waters, and much of it from almost all of it from outside of Lynn County. Um, and I don't, I mean, again, you know, uh, Reeves Kistler was, is a dear friend of mine. He's, he happens to be gay. He's a judge of the Oregon Supreme Court. He's a great judge. Um, whether he was gay or not had little to do with it. Um, the, the issue is, but, but he had had a long and distinguished career in the Department of Justice before right. he was appointed to the Court of Appeals. Judge Waters has no career in law before. And yet, can I ask you one last question about her qualifications? By the way, I'm putting myself at risk by even saying this because I've already gotten um, a couple of thinly veiled threats uh, by phone and otherwise saying, don't you dare speak out about this. Well, I think it's important that you do. One last thing about how she got on the court. At the point where the governor appointed her to the circuit court, was she, in fact, a lawyer at that moment? No. Okay. Was not, and she was not, put. She, she was okay, but hold on, Josh. Special provision. Right. And, and ordinarily, right. if somebody is a lawyer, is in the bar, and, or, or a bar member, and then. She's not they, an active member of the bar. Let okay, me but let's not get tied up in the details. She leaves the practice of law and is not a lawyer for five or six years, and then the governor appoints her to be a judge right. when she's not even a lawyer, not qualified at not all. Not an active lawyer, no. And, and so then there's a process. If you've been out that long, ordinarily you would routinely be expected to retake the bar exam and prove that you're still competent to be a lawyer. The Oregon Supreme Court sidetracked that or, or went around that, circled around that, and said waved its magic wand and said, you can be a lawyer again without taking the bar exam, didn't they? They did. It's not, I wouldn't say you always have to, but after a long absence, more than five years, three to five years of not practicing law, it is the bar has the right to demand the people who have not been engaged in them. Because let me explain. When you're not practicing law, you can still say you're a lawyer, but you don't have to do what we call continuing legal education. You don't have to do any of the things that those of us who practice law, all of us who practice law, are required to do. And that's a long time, particularly at the front end of your career. Um, and, and Judge Stetz Waters only became a lawyer, I think, uh, in about 2007 or 2008. By, by, by extension, for example, I've been practicing law since 1981, and I'm not suggesting to anybody I should be a judge. Right. So all I wanted people to understand is that the Oregon Supreme Court bent over backwards to make it possible for the governor's appointment to be valid. If they had said... Go back and take the bar, and she might well have had to take a six-week. That might have really slowed things up. Then. Well, she, would she have likely had to take a six-week pra- uh, practice uh, or you know prep course? Well, most people, I certainly did. Yeah, because because most people who graduate from law school can't just pass. Well, the, the bar. longer you you've been you've been out of law school, the harder it is to take the bar exam. Yeah, so she's out six years in between. When uh, she... lo- no, by 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 the point she was appointed, she'd been out. I think ten. Ten. We're close to it. So she'd been out ten years, time. and ordinarily three to five would mean you have to retake it. The Supreme Court bypasses that and says, oh, you don't have to. Which follow. they have the right to do, and they did in this shape, yeah. reason, for some reason. Well, in any case, people are asking, Stets Waters is the name of the woman appointed with just and two Mike years Winhausen as a lawyer. And is the name of her opponent. And Mike Winhausen is the experienced deputy district attorney running from the same position. Josh, thanks very much.